Well, earlier today, I spoke to the boss of Quadrilla, Francis Egan. I wanted the Balkan protesters who you saw in Tom Clark's report to put their points directly to him. It wasn't possible for them to meet face to face, so we did the next best thing and got them on the phone. But I started by asking him what he thought of the protests. Well, I think there was a poll in the village of which about a third of the people responded and 80 to 90 percent of those said they were opposed to fracking. Um, we're not actually carrying out any hydraulic fracturing at no, the site. The point is you want to. You, I mean, if, if, if you carry out your drilling operation, the end game is fracking, isn't it? Well, again, we've been very clear that that is an option. Um, so uh, we are exploring for oil. Uh, we will see if the oil will flow and at what rate will flow without fracturing. And that is the extent of the current operation. Uh, if we came to the conclusion that uh, it, it would flow better or uh, hydraulic fracturing would make it commercial, then we may well put that forward. But we would have to go through a separate planning process, a full environmental impact assessment, of which is about a nine-month process. But they are saying they do not want you to carry out this current operation. You will go ahead with that, regardless of the we will carry We will carry out our current operation. Uh, there, there is a group of people who are saying that they do not want it to happen. Uh, we have been through the planning process. Uh, I mean, th what more can we do? We, we are a company, we follow the rules. Uh, if the rules say that we stop because uh, protesters say uh, we have to stop, then we'll follow those rules. Hello there. Um, you're through to Mr Egan. Can you tell us who you are, please? And one question, please. We, we plan to start the drilling as soon as we have the, the, the kit available on site. Uh, it's not the case that it's not possible to complete the work. Um, if we wanted to complete the, uh, the original work scope, we may need an extension. And we have actually applied to West Sussex County Council for an extension to the planning consent. But I think her point is, why go ahead until that's done? Well, we have the approval to go ahead and, and uh, work within our existing planning consent, and that's exactly what we're doing. We're following the, the rules. It, it depends how fast we drill and, and uh, exactly how deep we drill. Uh, it, there is a possibility it could extend, so I'm not, I'm, and that is exactly why we have applied for extension. And we, we submitted an application for extension several weeks ago to West Sussex County Council, so they have ample opportunity to consider it. Um, why uh, they won't be able to consider it until November is, is a question for them, not for me. My name is Vanessa Vine. Why? I think what Vanessa is saying that, that uh, the Department of Energy and Climate Change were not informed for several months. Uh, it isn't actually a requirement to inform the, 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 the uh, DEC, it is a requirement of, to inform the HSC, and the HSC have and will confirm that they were informed uh, appropriately. Uh, we have subsequently uh, run uh, tools into the well and we have confirmed that the well integrity has not been compromised and again the health and safety executive will confirm that. That's not the information I've been given. Can you answer the other question? Well, just on that, I'd suggest that you, that you talk to the health and safety executive then and they will confirm that to you. Vanessa, thank, thank you very much for your call. Thank you for taking those calls. You do have a battle on your hands without question. Do you feel this isn't an issue for you, that it is an issue for the council who gave the authority? I think it's an issue for, for all of us. Um, it's an issue for Quadrilla, we're the operator. Uh, it's an issue for all the regulators uh, and it's an issue for the government. So we have a choice, we either develop our own resources or we import them. If we can produce our own, we generate a lot of tax revenue uh, and a lot of jobs. And I, yes, I do believe it can be done safely. I strongly believe it can be done safely. There are many people at Balkan who want to speak to you quite clearly. Will you go down there and speak to the protesters? I will speak to the protesters, yes, if the protesters will speak to me. Mr Egan, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.